Spiritual Voices. I hope that this latest episode finds you living in peace, love, and harmony. Today, I am connecting with you to give you the psychic cycle for the week. I will be channeling the overall energy of the collective whole, and it will cover the week of Monday, December 9th through Sunday, December 15th. I ask that you keep in mind that this is a general overall reading of the collective whole and not just necessarily, you know, for one person in mind. So take with you what's going to resonate with you and, you know, allow what you don't connect with to be something for somebody else. I suggest that you get out a pen and paper, write down the basics of each day, and then use my words throughout the week. Connect with them and use them to create the best day for yourself. Knowing how to utilize the energy of the day, you can um, put your best foot forward and be able to um, handle anything that comes your way. This, this allows you to take your power back throughout your day, where if you know that something's coming or there's a potential of something happening, you can brace yourself and know how you're already going to handle it versus just reacting to it. Again, this is just a general overall reading. If you would like to know your own personal psychic cycle, contact me through my Facebook page, Spiritual Voices. I give readings in person, through email, through messenger, over the phone, through Skype, anything that would benefit you. So let's begin. On Monday, you will find yourself setting the emotional vibe for the whole week. It's really important to not forget that connections mean something. And for some reason, I'm not sure why, I hear to eat your leafy greens. So I feel like there is going to be somebody who has some kind of, you know, digestive issues or somebody who needs to take care of their health or even like stomach pains. This is the case. By all means, please take care of your health. I hear for some that it's time to set yourself free. And I see a motorcycle racing by and I feel like there are some who have been trapped and uh, you need to be told to go ahead and run with it. Or maybe there is something that you've been wanting to do, but you've been holding yourself back. Go ahead and run with it. Now's the time. Go for it. If you take the chance and you go for it, this is going to bring you abundance. I know this will sound odd because I don't know what it means, but I hear that there's going to be a lot of moodiness, but it has to do with the house that Jack built. I feel like this means that there's some kind of chaos in the home, whether it's yours or somebody else's. And you may even feel like you're being attacked or you could even be beating yourself up with a stick and be good to yourself. Nobody's perfect. Don't beat yourself up over things, especially the things you have no control over. Have faith because there's a big wish that is going to be coming through in some shape or form. There's something that's going to be granted. Let go of any kind of fear and be sure that you keep moving forward and know that you are well protected and well loved. Sometimes something comes to a head and then with this brings great change. Ask yourself, what do you value the most? What brings you pleasure? What brings you vitality? What brings you energy? There is a need for social harmony. So take the time today because it's a good time to communicate and connect with others. You're going to find an understanding where you will least expect it. So if there's been something that you've been wanting to get off your chest and tell somebody, take the chance today because I think you'll get more um, positive feedback than you would maybe on the other days. So if you've been nervous about something like that, go ahead and take the chance. It'll probably work out for you. This can also be a really good day to sit at home and spend time on your own energy and take time for yourself. Because I hear I hear a calling for someone to find the softer side of life. You don't have to work hard all the time. You don't have to be angry all the time. You don't have to be um you don't have to be stressed all the time. It's okay to just lay back, sit back and relax. Especially if there's like a situation where you're not sure which direction to take, being able to sit back and relax will help you allow in the energy so that you can trust your gut and have faith because deep down, you know exactly what you need to do. On Tuesday, you will have the energy to take action and to get things done. 
there is going to be a possibility of needing to make a big decision today. The time is now, so make your move. There are broken thoughts and stress and anxiety. And if you allow this to creep in, it's going to create a situation where you're standing in your own way. It's time to weave your own destiny. Nothing has to stand in your way unless you allow it to. Ask yourself, are you the horse that moves forward? Or are you the mule who stays in place, stubborn and not moving? There are brighter skies ahead. And so be sure not to make mountains out of mohills because you can move mountains. Always remember that nothing is ever as hard as it seems. Take forward movement and don't allow anything to hold you back. And there's some out there who need to think about what's being hidden that needs to come out. There is the deepest of desires with needs and choices to be made. There's an important project to you and you need to ask yourself what you hold dear because with this kind of energy that's going through today, you can accomplish anything and tons of things as long as you're willing to work hard. This will bring abundance to your life. All you have to do is be brave and take the chance, move forward and put your energy into it. Whatever you put your energy into, you're going to receive back threefold. Now for Wednesday, I see an owl that pops up in my head. So this tells me that there's people out there that need to be wise with the decision making and communication. I also kind of see it as a symbol where it's a good idea to share your wisdom because something comes up where it's going to help. If it doesn't help you, it's going to help somebody else. I, I think sometimes that's why we go through the lessons that we go through is so that we can help other people because that's what we're supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be giving to other people and helping other people through the pains that we've experienced. Something's going to happen today that makes something click. And then at this point, everything starts to make sense. I hear that the truth is told, but another lie is born. And I'm not really sure what that means, unless maybe, you know, you have that thing where you tell one little white lie and then you have to tell another one and you have to tell another one. And even if, you know, that part of the truth eventually comes out, you might have to tell another one to cover up what you told before. So it's kind of like an unending cycle. I hear, um, Oh, what a wicked web we weave when first we practice to deceive. So if it is like a small little lie, it might be better off just telling the truth and getting it out there because I see the potential of something getting blown away out of proportion. And then there's some kind of advice out there that's given that may make you feel like you're held captive and kind of wondering what to do and where to turn. Without a doubt, there's a decision that needs to be made. I see a situation where somebody has almost put something completely behind them, but then something is heard that brings back a past pain and it's almost like you start all over again. And so I'm told to say day by day and hour by hour, step by step. And so, you know, you're going to have your good days. You're going to have your bad days, but little by little, everything will get better. You might be feeling isolated today and find some difficulty with relationships. And um, I also see that there's some kind of disloyalty and it may bring like um, heavy emotional burdens. Now is the time to start a spiritual journey and begin finding yourself and healing yourself and loving yourself so that you can grow and walk away from these kind of patterns. Thursday is the day for expansion and enhancing your spiritual journey. I hear that this is the straw that breaks the camel's back. The spiritual journey within is all about trial and error. There is some kind of new beginning and I am told to say that what goes around comes around and karma can be, and karma can be a pain in the ass, but know that within this karma, there is a victory and a gain. If there's a struggle, have no worries because the outcome will be in your favor as long as you're walking in integrity. Life is what you make of it. Everything is about perspective. So some of you might find yourself seeing something in a different light. Something changes the way you see things, changes your perspective. I feel that there is a journey of some sort that brings a higher spiritual energy. So use this vibrational energy and you will win battles. 
And the battles will be a lot easier to win when you use happier and loving words. For some reason, you'll be able to get your point across more that way versus arguing and trying to prove your point. I guess, you know, you win more bees with honey. I don't know if that's the saying or not, but um, more flies with honey. There you go. You, you can, you trap more flies with honey than you do stinging words. Look ahead to new adventures because this is a great day to start something new and expand your horizons because it could bring you good luck. Don't allow anyone to steal your energy. This may involve your job, your life purpose, or your close loved ones. Have faith in what and who you are and never be afraid to do what feeds your soul and fills you with joy. Because at the end of the day, that is why we're here. We don't come to earth to work every day and be tired and miserable. Granted, we, ha we have to make the money, we have to pay our bills, but we are here to feed our soul and to grow. One of my favorite sayings is, we are not human beings living a spiritual experience. We are spiritual beings that have literally come to earth to live a human experience so that we can grow and evolve and raise our vibration. Fill yourself with joy. Now, Friday will be a great day to socialize and connect with others. You have the strength and beauty to overcome anything. There are some who experience huge relief because the obstacles of the week are now behind you. Everything flows and new energy comes your way. And you are completely supported by the universe. There is some kind of forward movement. However, if you're not paying attention, you're going to find yourself stuck in the mud. I see some people just sitting there with their wheels spinning and like I feel as if somebody is going to try and pull your energy back down to their level do your best to not allow this I hear silver and gray and I feel like this connects with a song make new friends but keep the old one is silver and the other is gold I feel as if the silver I feel as if the silver and the gray refers to a friend or a companion that lies kind of in the gray area where they pretend to care and to be your friend, but they're really just a psychic vampire waiting to suck your energy. And they wait till it gets high enough and they could just they just drain you. Release this relationship so you don't have to be so guarded anymore. Be active and manifest abundance. Release this relationship so you don't have to be so guarded anymore. I, I really feel like there's defensive walls that are built up to block people so that nobody can hurt you and nobody can harm you. But if you let go of this energy attachment, you will find that the very next day you will start to feel better. Be active and manifest your abundance. Stand proud and confident in your own energy. You wield great power and have the ability to manifest the types of relationships that you want. Love yourself and attempt to quell any type of jealousy that might come up, whether it's your jealousy or that of a, of a close loved one. Go out and dance, engage people and connect. Today, you can push through boundaries and create what you want, loosen up. And there's something that somebody's been waiting for that's a little risky this is the case go for it because this is where you are going to cross barriers and change your life on saturday you may need to work hard at something today there's a secret that gives you some kind of vitality and some kind of energy brings excitement and it gives you hope honor yourself and know that you are worth the effort and the hard work not only for yourself but you deserve that from other people Again, I see someone trying to pull you back down into their energy. They do this to keep you trapped. It's time to break the cycle. Sit in the spiritual circle of your own energy and do what's best for you. Take the chance to create change. Be brave and do what feeds your soul. Follow your intuition because you are well guided. Trust yourself and feel how in tuned you are. You know the right answers and it's easy to accomplish anything you want everything starts to make sense there's going to be an unexpected boundary that comes up but make sure you push through this because it brings new opportunities don't allow anything to hold you back some rules were made to be broken and this is important because the knowledge will open new doors on Sunday take the time to find your peace and harmony 
by being sure to take time for yourself. Stay grounded and know that you are fully supported by the universe. See the joy in life because your day is what you choose to make it. This is your whole new world. This is the dawn of a new day and you can make of it what you want. There is an opportunity that's coming up. So be it. So be paying attention so that you don't miss it again. I'm bringing in to not allow someone to steal your power. You are in some type of relationship that is holding you back. It could be with a relationship with yourself from negative self-talk, a parent, a friend, a lover, or just some other type of loved one. Cut the cord and quit allowing them to hold you back. Quit allowing them to suck you back down into the black abyss. You deserve better. You should value yourself more because you are worth it everything. You are a powerhouse. Seek freedom from this relationship and you will feel lighter for it. You may experience quick, sudden changes that you have no control over. Have faith in your guides, your ascended masters and the universe that they have the best plan in mind for you. They have your highest and good intentions in mind and love you unconditionally and if you follow their energy and you have complete faith love and trust things are going to turn out amazing for you i see healing and a type of new beginning with new abundance but you have to do what's best for you and walk away from what no longer serves you bring in new energy you can't bring new energy in until you let go of what no longer serves you and isn't doing you any good. You have to make room for the good energy. Follow your dreams and remember that there is a big difference, a huge difference, more than you can even know between the people who show up in your life and the people who show up for your life. Think about that. That's not only important, but empowering. Take that with you for the rest of this week Write that down and read that to yourself every single morning. There is a big difference between the people who show up in your life and the people who show up for your life. Now, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of the Psychic Cycle. I'll be doing another one for next week. Again, you know, just a reminder, this is a general overall energy some of it you might connect with, some of it might not make any sense to you. And again, write it all down because listen to it again at the end of the week and it very well might make sense to you. After, you know, you write it down, you can compare what happened for the day. This is a reminder that this is what I've channeled for the upcoming week of December 9th through the 15th. And if you want a more personalized reading, message me through Facebook on Spiritual Voices I offer readings through Skype, email, messaging, and in person. I also offer Reiki energy work and I also offer Reiki energy work and shamanic healing sessions for those in need of balance and healing. I truly thank you for listening and without a doubt, you are appreciated and know that you are never alone. The spirit in me salutes the spirit in you. Mary.